Since the beginning of the year, eight trans women have lost their lives. Eight black trans women have lost their lives for doing nothing other than living in their truth. If we allow this Supreme Court nominee to continue the rhetoric of 45, how many others will lose their lives? Small agency, Destination Tomorrow, Google us, we're doing big things. Because I firmly believe that LGBT youth should be protected. LGBT youth have the right to live in their truth. But they came to this country because they believe in the dream. And all of us, all of us, got to stand with them and say it loud and say it clear that immigrants and refugees are welcome here and that we will rise up and resist any temptation, anyone who will turn back the clock of progress. And so I say to all of you, I say to this president, this illegitimate president, I'm going to give you the same level of respect that you gave to President Obama, and that is absolutely no respect at all. But Gorsuch is no joke, no joke at all. And so today we must make a commitment to justice because justice is the firmest pillar of our government. And in order to ensure justice, we need a nominee who's going to represent the interests of marginalized communities, the LGBT community, minorities, immigrants, and those, unfortunately, who are under attack. And so all of us who believe in the Constitution, who believe in this country, who believe in the values and principles that so many of our forefathers died for, we have an obligation and a duty to rise up and resist each and every day. Rise, resist, and repeat. Rise, resist, repeat. If we are united, black, white, Latino, Asian, gay, straight, it doesn't matter. If we are united as one, we, the people, will never be defeated. Thank you for coming out.